everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a pick a card, which is 18 plus. So if you're not 18 plus, please kick off this video now. But if you are 18 plus or over, then hello. So we have a double love reading today. We have group number one to four is gonna be your first impression. The first impression of this person, how they feel about you when they first meet you and their personality. And then we have group number five to eight, which is gonna be intimacy. So if you would like to choose a group number one, two, three, or four for the personality and the first impression, and then group number five, six, seven, eight for the intimacy. So let's get started. All the timestamps are down below in the description box and in the comment section are down below. So if you'd like to purchase a private reading with me, as usual, all my rates are down below. Please message me before purchasing as my rates and availability can change. And also, uh, if you would like to check out my crystal shop, I have some beautiful new crystals coming to the shop. So have a look down below if you're interested. So let's get started with today's reading. Let's go. Let's start with group number one with the selenite. Hello, group number one. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the selenite. I love selenite. Very good for cleansing. So if you guys need some cleansing, selenite is always a good one to do. So let's have a look at the first impression and the personality of your person. So we're gonna start off with the tarot and we're gonna see what the main card we have. So in terms of the first impression, we have the Knight of Cups. So first of all, your person could easily be a, a fire or water sign. I'm suddenly feeling very breathless. Um, I feel as if your heart chakra is really going to expand when you meet this person. I really feel like when they meet you, it's gonna be so easy. It's gonna be like best friends have met for the first time. Um, so of course, this is for those of you who are single. So I do feel like this person is somebody who has been single for quite a while. I'm picking up on about three years. And there's somebody who is very much ready for a really strong romantic connection. And I'm picking up on like, um, like stroking, like the hair, or the skin that this person really likes touch. They're very, very tactile. They feel like a Taurus. Um, you feel like an air sign. So they could be Taurusy, but also really watery. So what I'm feeling is their energy is very watery. So their sun sign or their rising could easily be water, but they are, in terms of sex drive, really fiery. Um, in terms of their love, love um, and how they love is very, very uh, earthy. So they have a lot of different aspects to them. But the main thing I'm picking up is water. Like that's the main, like, the main chunk of it really. So let's have a look and see what else in terms of, in, uh, not intimacy, in terms of first impression and personality. Okay, let's see. Nine of Cups. So there's going to be a lot of physical touch, which is great because this is an 18 plus reading. So that'll be great. So for your intimacy, um, depending on what group you choose, I do feel like there is just going to be a lot of intimacy there. I don't see any issues at all. I feel like it's going to be really, really easy. Both of you feel like a mutable sign or mutable and cardinal. Like I don't feel a lot of fixed energy other than like just Taurus. Um, there does feel like a kind of very gentle, sensitive connection here. So on, upon first meeting, I'm trying to move this flower out of the way. Upon first meeting, <laughs> this flower is like, go away. Um, I feel like the energy is really easy. Um, I do feel like there's immediate passion because both of you are really fully attracted to each other. Um, I feel like the energy is quite intense. So both of you probably will meet in a social setting, whether that be through work or through um, possibly a pub or a restaurant or something where you're around a lot of people. And I do feel as if there's like a mutual, like, you know, you both like each other. So you could have known this person for maybe a couple of weeks before you actually uh, begin a relationship. Um, but I feel, I feel like I need to just move this flower over a little bit because she's really bugging me. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I do feel as if, yeah, I feel like there's a mutual connection, almost like you're not worried about <clears throat> what this person thinks of you. So in terms of the fact that if you're worried, if you're thinking, oh, does this person like me? I'm not too sure. They will like you, like they really do like you. Okay, guys, sorry, I had to adjust this flower. It's really bugging me. I couldn't get the cards on straight. Um, okay, so basically brand new start. You might be scared to actually start this connection, first of all, because you're, you're kind of used to having a lot of manipulation in your relationship so this is going to be quite new for you uh this person like a brand new person you don't know this person yet um they are brand new so let's have a look at their personality 
and see what else in terms of who they are. So we have escape. We have patience. Secrets. Appreciation. Vision and endurance. So the main thing I'm feeling is this person can go for a very long time. So in terms of intimacy, yes, I am talking about that. But I also feel as if this person is constantly thinking. They're somebody who they're a really good worker, like they can work constantly, non-stop. Um, they're really good with kind of allowing things to just happen as they are. They're not really too stubborn. Um, in terms of their own personal things like hobbies and things, they could be a little bit stubborn, but when it comes to you, there's not really a lot of stubbornness. So there's a massive amount of excitable energy from this person. They're always really happy. They like to put on a really brave face. They do kind of hold their emotions quite close to themselves. So it might take a while for them to open up, but they're definitely somebody who is, they do feel quite masculine. Like I'm getting this quite strong masculine energy from them. So if you're wanting a masculine or a male, then this is obviously your pile because it just feels like this person's very, very masculine. They feel very Mars, like that's kind of the energy I'm getting from it. So I feel like this person is definitely someone who's quite patient. They do, like I said, hold themselves quite closely to themselves. They're somebody who really appreciates simple things. They like things quite earthy. So when it comes to their Venus, they're probably in Taurus or some sort of earth sign. Um, there's somebody who likes to just have everything really, really simple. They like their life to be simple. They're not really one to have like gossip or anything like that. Um, is there anything else? I feel like this person has a very strong imagination. They're very, very creative and they have a really strong vision for, um, like if they're an inventor, they could easily, they could, they can make a lot of money. They are so clever um, and so intellectual as well. Um, is there anything else here? Escape. The person also, they have dealt with possibly drug abuse or um, like with themselves. Like it could even be something simple as like overdoing coffee, overdoing alcohol, um, they have a slight kind of Pisces tendency where it comes to like, it comes to addictions, they can get really, really addicted. Um, so obviously just take it as it resonates. This person would have healed a lot of that before they come into the connection. Cause I do feel I'm hearing lots and lots of healing. I'm hearing 10 years of healing. So I do feel as if you're not going to be in this relationship in your teens. If you are in your teens right now, I don't see being in your teens in this relationship. I see mid twenties at the, at the least, at like the minimum age, um, when you come into a union with this person. So let's see what else. Lovely. They are very, very passionate. They are super, super fiery. Um, I might just remove these cards actually, just so you can see these cards a little bit better. I love the fact we had the Ace of Wands. They're not even just being like, um, kind of, what's the word? I can't pick up on the word. They're not hiding the fact that they're a sexual person. Like it's very obvious that they want to do that with you. And it's not that it's like lust. It does feel like pure love, but they're, they're very balanced with their sexual energy. That's like what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay. So we have Virgo digest. So somebody who also, they can struggle to digest information um, because they do have that stubborn streak but they're also very, very forgiving. So when it comes to people and relationships, they're super forgiving, but towards themselves, they can be quite internal. So they could have gone for a Saturn return before um, they come across you in your energy. Um, and the North Node of the future, this person is somebody who, they are very kind of like, they're very intellectual with their emotions. They're very emotionally aware. So they're always looking into the future when it comes to, okay, how am I interacting with this person? You know, they're very self-aware. Um, and then we have solar calm clarify. So both of you could work on a, a business together. And I do feel as if there's quite a slow burn when it comes to this relationship. It's like friendship first, and then you'll be in a connection. And I do, I do feel like a really strong magnetic attraction between both of you. Um, the first impression is like just so easy. There's no worries at all. There's no kind of like all looking at each other across the room. It's like, if you do meet in a setting where you don't know each other, first of all, it's going to be like, it's going to be really easy to, to actually get up and talk to this person because if anything, the universe is going to push you two together. So in whatever way, it's going to be very, very natural and really, really easy. Okay. So that is your number one reading. Have a look for your intimacy through group number five to eight and have a look and see what your intimacy would be. 
Um, but yeah, anything else? I do feel like there's a lot of creativity. This person is super, super artistic. They love music, they love art. Um, something to do with their hands and their ears. They like like listening to music, possibly even by poetry as they listen to music or something like that. They're very, very sensitive. They are. They don't like to show their sensitivity, but that's probably because they are so sensitive that they can't really express it or they struggle to express it. But they are a beautiful human and I just get a really, really lovely vibe from this person. I just feel like this, this feels like a really safe relationship where both of you are really comfortable with each other's. It's almost like I'm hearing I have permission like you feel safe enough to just express yourself fully. It's really lovely. So that is your reading. Have a lovely day and I'll see you possibly in another pile. Bye. Hello, good number two with the pink opal. Let's get started with your reading. So I'm picking up on one of you is scared to be in a relationship. Um, one of you is quite scared to kind of ruffle feathers to kind of like there's a forcing, like don't try to force any connections to happen. That is possibly why there's fear there. All the time that you're forcing, there's not really a natural progression into like friends to partnership. So I'm just hearing the best advice to you right now. It's just to really embrace every aspect of you as much as you can and not to force any connection. If there's any forcing going on, it will appear in relationships like you'll know when when you're forcing it sort of thing okay so any forced connection is not the right one. Ooh, oh wow this is a really sexual connection holy crap oh my lord so i will probably talk about intimacy in this group actually um this person is so mature um i'm hearing <laughs> i'm hearing the word um i don't really want to say it but i'm picking up on um another word for a dad <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm picking up on. If you're wanting a male, oh my God, they have that dad energy. They are, in, like, not in a weird way, in a way that's like nurturing, um, really sensitive, really kind, honest, really safe, comfortable, caring, loving, unconditional, absolutely beautiful. If you are wanting a female in a connection, your uh, the connection will be more of like a mother figure. So they'll be exactly the same, caring, nurturing, really calm, safe. Um, and beautifully sexual, like really just comfortable. Like both of you feel so comfortable with each other and they're gonna help you heal the aspect that you don't, that you are struggling to attain by yourself. So basically masculine and feminine energy is meant to be together. That's how we get balance. That's how we get the yin and the yang. Very Libra and energy I'm getting from this group. It's like both of you are literally meant to be together. So if you have been single for quite a long time, this is just an indication that honestly girl, you are gonna have your partnership. You're gonna have your partnership. It is coming towards you. It is on its way. You just gotta let it be and let the let the universe do its job. Okay. And it's same for anything, any any relationship. You gotta let the universe do its job. Okay. Um, you can't always know exactly uh, when this relationship is coming. I don't think you're meant to. I think if you knew, it would cause you to feel a little bit confused on how you're gonna, you know. It would stop you from actually meeting this person in divine timing. So first impressions, the fact that we had the King of Wands, wow, massive amount of sexual energy. I wouldn't be surprised that the first time you meet, you're going to be intimate. Um, you want this person's peen. <laughs> you want their penis, basically. Uh, of course, if they have one or their vagine, if, they if they're a woman. Um, so the magician here is basically saying everything is completely like whole. Um, everything, this is, the person's a whole package and they have a really good package as well. Um, <laughs> they are literally the whole package. So when you first meet them, you are going to be really shocked at how quickly you're going to meet your relation, you're going to meet this person. So you possibly go out not thinking about relationship or anything like that, just living your life, maybe going to, I'm feeling like you might be around family when you see this person. So it might be a bit weird to kind of go up to them, but I feel like you're, the, the pull is going to be so intense. You're going to just go up to them and talk to them. Um, it's that kind of energy or it could be like a like a family friend or friend of a friend it's like it feels familiar so you're going to be around familiarity when you're when you see this person so you could be around friends you could be around family it's going to be in a social setting in with quite like a, a large room so it could be like a restaurant or something and I feel as if this person has a very powerful like safe energy like you feel like a lot of empathy from this person there is no kind of like I have to meet them I have to get to know them or oh, they're looking at me or they're looking it's kind of like very similar to grit number one but it feels more 
we're getting like a luxury feeling like you know it's like just fits so you like you buy a coat or you buy some shoes and they just fit you and they are just great and they're exactly what you want that is this connection it's like you don't expect it to, to to have it but when it actually arrives it's like whoa it's so good um the hierophant is basically saying this person will really look after you they have a, like i said a very strong dad energy like really really masculine um the person is basically giving you your giving you their heart without any limitations or any kind of conditions um the nine of swords is showing me this person definitely struggles to speak exactly how they feel they are somebody who kind of filters out stuff so being with you will help them to express that more and i feel that this person is just such a lovey-dovey person they're very romantic they are very kind of Libran, so they're either Libran or Taurusy, so basically ruled by Venus. Um, in terms of this person and their kind of zodiac sign, I'm not getting exactly, but they do feel like a Sagittarius or an Aquarius. Um, this person loves your body. This person has a really, really, really good body. Um, you're going to do stuff in various different places. Like you're going to absolutely love it. I'm going to try not to talk about intimacy too much, but like I feel like the need to talk about it is so there. Um, you and this person are identical in terms of you look very similar, but your energy is so matched. It's like literally putting two puzzle pieces together. And it's not to say this relationship will completely complete you because no one can complete you. Honestly, it doesn't work like that. But this person is going to help you to bloom into the into the person that you that you are meant to be on the planet. Like when we go through so much trauma. When we have someone who makes us feel really open and calm, this person's going to help you to express us, to express that side of you. You might also be thinking about your body at the time of meeting them. So you might be quite either insecure about it. You might not be really investing in your body or the opposite. You might be really investing in your body. So you might feel like, oh, I don't really want to meet anyone, anybody right now while my body isn't, you know, at the, at the place I want it to be. And the best thing is about it is this person doesn't even care. Like they, they know, they, I'm hearing I know you. Like they see you and they're like, wow, this person is so loving. And the best thing about it is they're not just looking at your features. They're looking at your entire like energy and soul. Um, it just feels really mature. It feels like this person has no limitations on how much they love you, which is so cute. Like this is literally what a relationship should be like. Um, this person has definitely dealt with some manipulation. They have quite a manipulative parent, uh, possibly a father figure. So they have definitely dealt with a lot of restriction in family. So they're going to be somebody who's dealt with a lot of trauma around that. So that's going to be something that might pop up in the relationship because relationships like romantic partnerships, they bring up our childhood trauma. So they could have dealt with that, but definitely they're really calm, really gentle. And they definitely have been kind of taken for a ride, like a lot of the relationships they've had um a lot of people just use them so they will be a bit, little bit reluctant to kind of share but they want to they really really want to like first meeting really really wanting to straight away okay so yeah they do feel quite Taurusy actually um we have saturn in taurus uh we have venus in scorpio which is really nice so yeah like i said like they're, they can be quite secretive um we've got a lot of water and i feel fixed that feels fixed energy person feels like a fixed energy okay they could work somewhere like a restaurant or a technical shop like in England we have curries slash pc world so that kind of place they could work there um, they're somebody who's really interested in gaining a lot of money they love being professional like that really suits them as a person because they're uh, very earthy so they're somebody who is really good at attaining practical things like money a house um, they, they might have a dog or a cat as well we also have sun in scorpio so this person like i said they have quite a lot of fixed energy towards them and they've definitely dealt with a lot of stress and anger they they can have an angry streak like they have family who can get quite angry um and this person has definitely seen that and they have dealt with possible physical abuse, which I'm not going to go into, obviously. But I do feel like they have possibly witnessed that and that could be something they're quite scared of, which is why they are very, very empathic. They're very, very gentle. They know their environment very well and they're constantly scanning. Um, there's somebody who's really, like I say, very empathic. They are going to make your life so fun. Like they're going to help you to just be like, let's just go and do this. Let's just not think about it. Let's just go. It's not like in a way it's very immature and they don't think about it. It's more about like, they want you to explore your life more. They want you to 
bring out this kind of like fun, like expanse, expansive side of you. Um, they will take responsibility, but they're also really fun. They're just basically the whole package. They really are. Um, this person also, if they are a male, very good abs, really good body, really like their shoulders are quite wide. I'm, I'm picking up on their shoulders. It's almost like I can feel how like hefty and like muscly they are. Um, they have quite large arms. They work out a lot. They love working out. That is just one of the fun things they love doing. Um, you and this person might work out together. If they're a woman, they are just all body types. I'm picking up and pick up on quite large hips, quite a large booty. Uh, but I'm also picking up seriously, like very, very um, straight down the line, quite a small booty. So obviously I do feel like the males are more kind of like larger framed, but the women I'm seeing just any, any sort of figure. Um, I feel like this person also has um, dark brown hair to black hair um, and they have fa facial hair, like quite thick facial hair. Um, for the women, I'm picking up on just really natural wavy hair. Um, so it feels quite like British where it's kind of like British hair naturally is normally like mousy brown and very kind of wavy. It's not really curly. So it kind of, that's the kind of energy I'm getting. They could be blonde as well, but I'm feeling more mousy brown um, for the women. So let's get and see any other zodiac signs that want to pop up. I feel like I'm not getting like a concrete zodiac sign. The only zodiac sign I'm really picking up on is fixed and Sagittarius. So we'll have a look and see what else wants to appear. This person loves holidays. They love anything like abroad, any like countries. They are really about exploring that. And that's very Sagittarius. So that makes a lot of sense. So they possibly work very, go very, very close to home. They could even work from home. Um, and there's somebody who has a very strong relationship to abundance. So there's somebody who possibly could talk about manifestations. They are really interested in how to manifest things, um, which is also very Sagittarius, I feel, because it's very much about like expansion. Uh, retrograde review. This person is very scared of actually in a, being in a relationship because they've had such quote unquote like bad luck because basically they've been attracted to a lot of manipulators and narcissists because they are an empath basically they are literally um, a magnet for, for that um, but because they have that very intense energy people really take that take advantage of them like I said very very intense sex drive really really beautiful energy this person could also be a Pisces um, this person also with the Mars they're constantly moving all the time they like to do stuff all the time and the retrograde is showing me this person is definitely going to they're kind of, and what I'm seeing is like they're comparing you to the past, but it's because they have insecurities around relationships and you are the person in their life. Because the reason why we come together with people is because we have, we need to have that energy. That's why we come into relationship because we need that. So what I'm seeing is this person does compare their past a lot because they're scared of, of how you're going to treat them because you're such a nice person. It's like, oh my God, like you don't need to worry about it anymore. You don't have to overthink. It's going to be okay. Um, with the fourth house, like I said, a lot of home uh, karma. They have a lot of karma to do with their family. They could be really, really close with their, one of their family members. I'm seeing like a real close relationship with a sibling, um, but I'm feeling like they have one friend in their family who is who they're really close to, like a sibling, very, very similar in age, could be a cousin, something like that. Um, and they're like, basically, they are their family, you know? Um, and you're gonna be really interested in like the dynamic they have because basically it's like maybe you don't have much of your family around, so basically they're gonna be your family. It's gonna be really, really cute. Um, what else? I feel like this person feels very lost a lot of the time. They are very, very in, like unique. Like they don't think the way everyone else does. They think very much outside of the box. They're very psychic um, because of that, because they're very psychic. They can feel things that other people can't feel. So they definitely struggle with being vulnerable. That's why they struggle with being vulnerable because they love all in or all out basically. So that is your reading guys for group number two. If you'd like to look into the intimacy, have a look down below in the timestamps and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, good number three. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the beautiful opal crystal. So let's see what's going on for you. Uh, let's see about this person's personality and the first impressions. I'm picking up on this. I'm picking up on a guy and his eyes are really, really, really intense, like sexy intense, not scary intense. Um, they're like there. I can see their face and they're right in my face. Oh, so intense. Whoa. Okay. So we have the eight of wands. So 
yes that makes sense because what i'm feeling is this person's like running towards me like they're rushing and you know when they have like um in films sometimes where the camera is stand is, is stood still and the person like runs up straight like straight ahead into the camera and they stop and it's just their head and you just see their face that is what i'm seeing it's literally what they keep doing to me so i'm hearing you're gonna notice me you're gonna see who i am they're very spiritual they are literally meant to be in your life eight of wands is like massive amount of movement mars really concentrated really really it's like really really intense i'm just gonna pull the lighting down a little bit guys because i don't want it to be too bright for you guys hopefully that isn't too bright um yeah it feels really really intense it feels like whoa um okay <laughs> so it's gonna be something you're gonna have to get used to um because what it is it's like uh basically i feel like you like to keep people at a distance and this person doesn't want to be at a distance and you are going to basically it's going to reveal a lot of your insecurities around being close as well. So let's see about our first impressions. So I'm hearing it might be somebody you try to avoid at first because they're so intense. Um, they have very strong Scorpio in their chart. They are very, very light. Whoa, very fiery. Um, they could easily have very strong Aries as well. They love your boobs. Um, they love your top half, obviously depending on your gender. Um, they love your top half, they love your breasticles and your nips, um, and everything like that. That's kind of something I've been really picking up on with this group. It's really picking up on the chest. Okay, so what I'm seeing is you're not used to basically having the attention on you. That is what I'm seeing. Um, you're used to kind of being the mediator, possibly a people pleaser, and you're used to kind of being somebody who is always the one to help everyone else out. So it's going to take you quite a long time to get used to this person. This is what I'm seeing. Can you see how like the man is kind of over the top of the woman? It's like the woman's kind of not really bothered, but the man is like, like straight on. So it doesn't feel like this person's coming from a place of needing. They just really, really like you and it's really scaring you <laughs> because you're not used to that attention. You're not used to somebody of un unconditionally loving you. It's weird. It's just weird. Um, so especially if you've been for a lot of trauma. So this person will want to be intimacy, intimate with you straight away, but they are going to be so patient with you. If you don't want to do that, you are you have lots of options. This, this person is like, this is your life. This is no one else's. It's kind of like, you know, when you have um, when you have relationships and family just get involved and opinions and friends, it's just like, this is none of that. I don't see any of that. You and this person, I'm hearing it's you two against the world, which sounds so dramatic, but it just feels as if I'm seeing like you building your family, creating your life that you want. And it's yours and it's no one else's. It's so lovely. Um, it feels just like a family. Like to me, family isn't always blood related. Family is literally anyone who treats you with immense respect and love and, and admiration. And that is this. This is what this is. This person will always be in your life. So you won't have to worry about them running away or being in, in uh, it's not insignificant. That's not the right word. Inconsistent. Thank you. Inconsistent. Um, you're used to very much inconsistent people. So first impressions, like I said, they're very, very close in the face. So I'm not sure why they they keep just showing me that's exactly how they're going to approach you. So it could be, ah, uh, what I'm seeing is you're not feeling like you're not ready to be in a relationship or you're not, you are not expecting it. And that is why they, ah, oh, that makes so much sense. Their energy is so overwhelming. It's not to the fact that they're actually really close in the face to you. Um, it feels as if their energy is really intense. It's like overwhelming. And what it is, is you're not used to this, like I said, the attention and you're not used to that. So we have the six of pentacles. So this kind of reminds me of previous relationships you've had where you've basically literally been lying naked in front of your man's or your woman's and they literally don't care. Like that is just been a bit of a really, really triggering situation for you. You've basically tried to be a certain way for a certain person or be be like this person who is just so beautifully attractive, which you are already, but you're trying to like, almost like explain to this person, I am attractive and like almost prove it to them. That is just so old news for this relationship. This is your old version of you. And this person in your past is going to be really, really wanting you back. I can pretty much guarantee you if you have an ex or you have someone who's an old friend, they're going to see this relationship and they're going to be like, holy crap. Um, because what you've done is you've done the inner work you've done a lot of the healing and you are ready for this connection and yes it's scary because you've had so much work on yourself or you've done so much inner healing it's almost like you're not bothered either way if you have a relationship or not but this person is going to be so intensely unconditional it's going to freak you out <laughs> so it's going to it's going to take a while to get used to it and that's okay you know you've got to take your time so i am seeing a lot of bondage in this relationship so you know that's going to be in the intimacy, but there is a lot of bondage. There's a lot of kind of like, oh, I'm seeing like angry sex. 
<laughs> so I'm seeing both of you having an argument and then basically just having makeup sex. That's just what I'm seeing because you're both really intense. Both of you have intense personalities and very strong opinions, lots of fieriness. And even if it's just two fixed signs who have no fire in their chart, both of you are just like literally hot and heavy with each other. It's just stunning. Um, so what I'm seeing is this is a really in, like random message, but I'm seeing you might grow your hair out where you've never actually been able to. Sometimes I'm hearing, I'm hearing they're literally telling me like sometimes trauma can create short hair. So what does that mean? Oh, like the ends of your hair get brittle and break off because of trauma. I don't know if that's true, but that's just what they're telling me. So when you are in this relationship, your hair grows immensely. You, you look really, really beautiful in this relationship because they're helping you to glow and to grow. <laughs> Cool. All right. So I love that message. That's so funny. Um, so first impressions, I do feel, I'm hearing, I already know you. Like, yeah, it feels intense. They're not giving me a too much of a circumstances. So they're going to keep it a little bit of a secret for this group, but just let you know that, ah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. This, this card is the main one I'm feeling. It's like, no, I'm not really that bothered. And the person's like, oh, I really love you. It's just so amazing. It just, oh, I just can't, I can't imagine like, why are you single? Um, but it's in a way that's like, they're just fascinated by you. They love what you're interested. In, they love your hobbies. So I do feel like this person will be quite subtle at first and then they'll just go boop and just like really put everything on you. Um, and you don't expect it. And what it's doing is it's getting you to open your heart chakra um because it's like cracking it open basically so yeah so this person really likes you your first impression of them is like holy crap can you like calm down <laughs> uh, because you're not expecting it you're, you're sort of the sort of person that likes to have the control and it's like really scaring you <laughs> you're like oh my god i don't know what to do now <laughs> because you're so used to having, this makes so much sense. Like if this makes sense to you guys, please let me know. Cause I'm really feeling this vibe in this group. If you're used to, un, un, okay, what's the word? Unemotional people, you're used to trying to control everything. But if you are the one who's, un, if, you're, if you're with someone who's unconditional and you're no, you're no longer just the one who's unconditional, that is gonna create such confusion for you, but it's amazing. It's like a new dynamic that you're not used to. And then by the time you've kind of, um, gotten to know this person in about six months, that is gonna be when you both really settle into the relationship and you're like, oh wow, this actually feels like a relationship. Huh, that's interesting. Oh yes, beautiful, yes, that's the romance aspect to it. You're not used to all this attention. You're used to just doing things by yourself, especially if you're really independent uh, or you're really just emotionally independent, like you don't like to rely on other people. It's gonna take you a bit of time and that's all right. That's what relationships are all about with anyone. It's just basically getting used to the dynamic. Um, so this person, you might think they're a bit of a drama king or queen at first because they're very intense, but they're not. They're just somebody who's so excited about life. <laughs> and they're just really, just, they're just so excited. Um, they're somebody who's gonna create this lovely love bubble around you. You're gonna feel so safe with this person. And you might be somebody, this is such a specific message. You might be somebody who gets nervous when you're around like in a car. You might be somebody who's too anxious to drive or you're somebody who, um, when you're in a car with someone, you get quite anxious and you might grip the side of the seat. Um, there's nothing like that because basically what happens is when that, when that happens is you either feel unsafe with that person or the person, or you have had a lot of trauma with people driving and things like that. You're not going to feel like this with this person. Um, you're going to be able to express exactly how you feel. So we have speculation and what I'm seeing is you both are very psychic and that is the first thing you pick up from both of each, from each other. That is maybe why, oh, that's interesting. That may be why you are struggling to get close to this person because it's, it's so intense because you are both very sensitive and empathic. You're both very psychic. So it feels like, whoa, um, I'm not used to this type of a relationship. And don't worry guys, like it will calm down. It's just the first couple of weeks is gonna be like, um, I'm not used to like this person being really like me. Um, yeah, beautiful. This person, you are gonna be so excited to be with this person because they're very much, they just really see you for who you are. So the, the intimacy is gonna be sexual AF. It's gonna be beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Um, is there anything else? This person might be into fashion or they just are really well dressed. Their fashion um, style is very sexy, very attractive and they kind of give me like classic vibes, like classic. They're showing me like a male with like a long trench coat on with like glasses. They feel very classic to me, almost like a British style, very kind of like, I want to say Vogue. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know much about Vogue, but that's kind of just what I'm hearing. Okay. 
So we have the sixth house of sustainability. This person's really into their um, topic of health. They will do, they will have health um, in their career. So they could be a chiropractor, hypnotherapist. Um, they could even be a sex counselor, something like that. I feel like they're a woman if they're a sex counselor. I know that sounds really weird to say the gender, but I'm, just, I'm not picking up on a man's sex counselor. If they are a sex counselor and they're a male, they um, approach sex from a male's perspective. Does that make sense? But if they're a woman, they, they look at both sides. So if they're like a male sex therapist, they will be talking about the man's side of um, the, relation, like the relationship to men and how they interact with women and men and basically like man's sexual health. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. So I'm not really getting any strong zodiac signs. They're just kind of telling me all of them. So, well, we have Capricorn. So just take it as it resonates. Um, we'll try and pull a couple more, see if there's any other zodiac signs that want to pop out. Oh, we have Cancer. Lovely. So they're extremely caring. That's why they're in the house of health because they want to um, help people with their body. They could even be a fitness trainer or something to do with the, I'm hearing the inner workings of the brain and the inner workings of the body. We've got transits, climate. We've got Taurus. So Taurus is a very... Um, like body orientated signs, so that makes sense. And then we have the first house and series. Um, okay, so I'm also hearing, like for you guys, you like, like I said, you like to be in control. You kind of start something and then you meet them unexpectedly, like you start the gym and you want a fitness trainer, that's your partner. Or you are in the gym and you're like exercising and someone comes up to you and that might be them actually because what I'm feeling is like you don't expect, you just want to be left alone because you're quite sensitive so you don't really like people's attention on you. But it's gonna just basically, you just gotta get used to it. That's what I'm seeing. It feels a little bit uncomfortable, but it's new. That's why it's uncomfortable. So I'm seeing the connection between the moon and I'm pretty sure this is, this is the earth here. It feels as if you both have a very watery connection. So this person, it sounds really strange to say, but you might actually start your period when you first meet this person because your moon cycle, like it's just like you release something. Sometimes when we have periods, it literally can be about release. So you can actually, if you've done a lot of emotional work, um, you can actually get your period sooner. Of course, I'm talking to my gals here. Um, and with men, uh, you might suddenly have like a release of just hormones in some way you might suddenly feel like really open hearted all of a sudden or you might suddenly feel like um, like a rush of adrenaline. There's just a really like body sensitivity here, very strong body sensitivity. Um, is there anything else? Hmm. So this person will bring you a lot of wealth and I'm not saying this person's like super rich, but they are going to help you to basically just be the best version of you, which is great. Lovely. You're the first group to have these cards. I was redrawn to this deck. That is so lovely. Being worthy. We have one more. Manifest. That is why we have Jupiter. Lovely. So I'm just hearing the more you manifest through your inner wisdom, the more money you're going to get because people want you for your inner wisdom. And we have this one here as well, inner wisdom. This person's really wise. They have a lot of um, knowledge around a certain subject of health. Like they're very body orientated. Like they like to know about the, the human body. Um, and that's why they're very comfortable with talking about sex because they have a very strong, easy connection with it. Like it's not like sexualizing sex, like it's being really authentic about it and being really, um, yeah, just being really mature around it, which is really nice. So they're gonna help you to be more open around sexuality and intimacy, especially if that's a new topic for you or if that's something that's quite a sensitive topic. Um, is there anything else? I'm also picking up on pink opal for you guys. So have a look at that crystal for you, see if you like that. Uh, that was group number two's crystal. So if you are drawn to group number two, have a look at that. We'll speak up on the turtle as you guys' is omen. Um, so that is uh, it for group number three. Uh, look at the other groups for intimacy. Timestamps down below. Oh, we also have, uh, they're showing me, the tell, uh, they're saying tell them the numbers. So we have 44, 22, 23, 13, 4, 29, 39, 10. So the main ones I'm picking up on are fours, twos, five and 10. So have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number four, let's get started with your reading. Let's see the first impressions and the personality of your person. So you guys chose How Light. I love this, such a beautiful like calming crystal here. This actually came up for the last love reading I did where number group, number group, no. Number four group was more about like late 20s and onwards. Like I'm picking up on 30s. So you might be in your 30s when you're watching this. Just take it as resonates. I'm just picking up on that really strong like 30s and 40s. So just take it that resonates. If you're not, it will still reply to you. That's just a message. 
Okay, so first impressions, wow. Um, they are very much attracted to your body, which I feel like the other groups were more about the soul and kind of like a slow process. This feels like very body orientated. So this person's gonna see your, they like your skin tone. And that's kind of what attracts them to you, like attracts, yeah, attracts them to you. They love possibly, you're either very pale um, or very dark skinned and it's just the, the color, the lighting, like the lighting against your skin, it's really drawing you, drawing this person to you. You're most likely gonna meet this person at a, what's the word, like a social setting, but it's professional. Like you don't expect to meet a person there or you are around a lot of guys or a lot of people you could be attracted to, but there's definitely a limit to the sort of person that you could be with. So it's almost like you're in a social setting with, uh, for work, but you are not really meant to meet anyone at that time, but you do. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like if you're in like a work setting, like I'm picking up, you're with your work friends, but you're in a pub or a restaurant. I keep getting pub and restaurant for these groups, but that's just what I'm getting. So, okay. So I'm picking up on, it's, it's a work related thing where you're meeting them. And the first impression of this person is they want to get to know you, but they are scared of being intimate. Like they're not gonna, it's not gonna be a super intimate relationship when you first meet each other. It's gonna be more of just slow, a slow burn of getting to know each other. Um, you are very independent and you have struggled with getting close to people. So this is gonna be kind of like your test to see how like close you can get with this person. So let's get you some more tarot cards. Let's see what else wants to come out. Now the queen of cups. So there's a lot of like chest area because we have a boob like coming out and then we have this man in the chest area of the woman. So there's a lot to do with the chest area for you guys. I think it's to do with opening your heart. I think a lot of you guys have learned to open your heart chakra more. You might have um, a family like patterning of like being really restricted in the heart area, like very critical uh, family members, people who just are really jealous of each other, a lot of like um, female, yeah, a lot of female jealousy, a lot of gossip. So you could have dealt with that a lot and that could have really caused you to coil up when it comes to a relationship. So we then have the Knight of Cups. So yeah, love is new to you in terms of like, okay, love is everywhere and we are love. I'm not saying this relationship is literally just love, but the, the thought of being with another person and being fully intimate kind of makes you scared a little bit. So this person with the Knight of Cups, the Knight is kind of like before the King. So the Knight is a, the first kind of, well, it's, it could be the page. I don't feel like it's a brand new start. I feel like you are ready for a relationship, but this person is somebody who you don't expect to be in a relationship with. So it could be a little bit of hesitation. You see how much distance there is between these two as well. Like you are fully like naked and this person's looking at you and they're like, oh my God, why are you looking at me? I'm only naked. You know, it's like, you have this beautiful energy about you. And I'm not saying you're gonna meet them when you're naked. I don't think that at all. But I feel as if you have this lovely energy that you don't realize you have. And a lot of people are actually very much attracted to you, but you you kind of like stop it before it gets too deep or there's a sense of self-sabotage. So I do feel like that's something you're gonna work on to uh, manifest this connection. So first impressions, your person sees you as someone very independent. They don't feel like they can approach you at first because you are possibly with like work or you know, with your friends and they, you know, there's that kind of hesitation, but they will come and approach you. Um, I do feel as if, if anything, they could meet you through social media if it's not uh, like on a physical level. So your person and you definitely have a resistance to intimacy. Um, it's definitely something you're both gonna learn. Um, so that may be why you might even be scared of being intimate physically. Uh, you might just literally ask this person to only focus on the top half. It's quite interesting that we have these flowers because I think they're the same ones as these ones, which is quite cool. I love that. Um, so can you see how there's like a distance and then there's suddenly a connection and then this person is coming towards you? I feel as if there is definitely resistance to control. You are somebody who likes to have the control. You like to make sure you know all the things or you're basically prepared and you can't prepare yourself for this relationship. Uh, the best thing you can do is to just slow down. So I am actually picking up on a smell <laughs> and it's not a nice smell. It's to do with like sex. <laughs> so it feels like the smell of like bodies and sweat and intimate things. And that is this card here. So these three, these three here are like really to do with your, 
like getting to know this person but you're scared and then you suddenly get comfortable and then you're really like in there with them it feels like uh, I'm picking up on months to, months four to six is when you start to become closer and um yeah that's going to be when the ball starts rolling with this relationship you're a first impression of this person you really like them but you will not share that with anyone or anything because you like to be quite private about it. So you will definitely see them, you'll want to be with them, but you will definitely be scared of it, okay? So let's have a look and see who this person is. A bit more personality here. So we have escape. Yeah, you're definitely, this. you and this person definitely have a sense of escapism. You might be somebody or they might be somebody who kind of gets in debt a lot. So your best thing is to actually be really patient, like not to focus on um, immediate results all the time because you're very hard on yourself and you're quite a logical person. So when it comes to your love life, you think about it quite logically, but love is not logical. Love is emotions, love is unconditional. And if you have to overthink a relationship, it's probably not the right one. This person's gonna help you to be more flexible, literally, <laughs> physically as well, more flexible. Um, but you're gonna be more appreciated because in your family, I don't feel like you have been really fully appreciated. Um, you're someone who always does stuff for other people. So this person is gonna start, is gonna appreciate you for who you are. And it's gonna help you to open up more, which is really nice. Um, you're also somebody who is really good with um, inventing things. You're always somebody who sees like a broader perspective and this person's exactly the same. You both have very high level intellectual conversations. This person is very, very grounded. They like to help others with um, personal development, things like that. They could be a counsellor and there's a lot of flirting. And the thing is with flirting is it's like, there's a lightness to it. So I don't feel a lot of depth, like I said, until it's like four months in because I see like both of you are getting to know each other and it will be quite a private connection you might even have like um kind of a resistance to getting to know each other because you might be living at home and you're like well I can't really bring this person home because my family's there or it's like I don't really want like judgment from other people especially if you have quite a large family or, or quite a close connection with your family it's like I just want to experience this for myself it might be even um religious aspects or cultural aspects something like that um, but I'm just hearing if it is something like that, you are going to um, basically cut the ancestral cord. Like, especially there's a lot of um, like deep culture around, you know, men and women in your culture that you are from um, in terms of relationships, like a lot of judgment around like skin color or, you know, religious aspects. You're basically going to cut that cord. So say if this person is, uh, say the opposite skin color to you, you are very pale. This person has quite dark skin and maybe that's kind of frowned upon in your culture or something like that. This is going to be something that you're going to have to be really, really clear about. That if you love someone, it doesn't matter. Like you are fully okay with it. You don't really care. But it's the past people in your in your family that are really judgmental, and that may be why you're resistant to it. But you're going to have to get over this energy because if you you really like this person, I feel that that could be something that you possibly could be resisting. Um, that may be why you're resisting it because you're scared of judgment. Something like that. Just take it as it resonates. That's just something I'm getting. I'm, obviously, this is a general reading. So yeah, definitely it's to do with the ascendant. It's like the personality of this person is very broad and you have been very restricted um, in your uh, relationships with people. You may have been quite private because of it, because you have to keep it private. Otherwise, it literally like affects your sanity. So now you are, both of you are learning to balance um, the way you are in relationships. It's the, your person who you're going to be with is somebody who's going to learn to stop being so overprotective and you're going to be stop being over so protective of yourself because you have had quite an overprotective energy around for a long time. Beautiful progressions journeying. And then we have descendant. Lovely. So you just got to let the invitation come towards you. If you're worried that this person's never going to come into your life, honestly, you just got to let it be. Um, and releasing the past is so important with this relationship. Um, I'm just picking up the more you choose to live your own life the way you want to um, the easier this is going to be for you because it's really about it's very internal it's very very internal and it's kind of about group mentality it's kind of like when say you get abandoned by a friend who's in like quite a big friendship group something like that it's like because it's basically very very ancestral it's like when we were in tribes if we were cast out by the tribe we would literally we could die because we haven't got you know other people to help us and we're not there anymore so it's really important for you to focus on these aspects of you and realize they are very very normal 
but they could be holding you back from being closely connected to someone you really, really like. Um, I feel like this person, they're not showing me a lot of star signs, but I am picking up on earth and air for them. Um, they feel like obviously either Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Virgo, Taurus, um, Capricorn. So that is what I'm picking up for you, my lovelies. Uh, I'll pull you one more card actually. I'm gonna pull you one more card, lovely. This is basically saying you are the creator of your own life. This is really about you and your standards and what you expect from somebody. And this person is gonna love you whatever and they're gonna be so calm and, and slow with you that they're not gonna force you and rush you, okay? This could even be your first relationship, so it could be quite weird. It could be like, oh wow, this is new. Um, hello, this could be like your first kiss, your first intimacy, your first, I don't know, even maybe like cuddle session, you know? So just take it as it resonates, guys. And I'm picking up just, just try it, just try this and see how you feel. Um, it's really about trying new things and that's why I'm getting with the entrance. It's kind of like, wow, new start um, and just feeling really good. And it's kind of getting to know yourself and how you feel in relationships too. So thank you so much for watching guys. Um, if you want to look at your intimacy with this person, check out groups um, between five and eight and I will speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, good number five. Let's get started with the reading. You guys chose the beautiful Tourmalated Quartz. She is a beautiful one, very good for shadow work, like I always say. I really like the feel of this as well. So I do feel like both of you are seriously tactile. You both might try like eggs or something. I'm seeing like anal beads or something like that. Like lots of this shape I'm picking up. Like obviously probably quite larger. There's a lot to do with that shape I'm picking up. So. Let's have a look and see the intimacy. All right, we have the star. That is so beautiful. I love that. So the star is lovely. You guys are going to be intimate whenever you feel like it. There's not going to be any resistance. Um, one of you is works quite a lot. So you're going to have to kind of like change your schedule around intimacy. But both of you are really, really accepting of each other. And you're the sort of couple that will sit down and chat about literally anything. Um, you want to basically know everything about each other and there's this lovely um, there's this lovely feeling of both of you just being very patient with each other and if you have any issues with anything you're talking about it so I do see this relationship being very deep so when it comes to being intimate you both want to try out different things you both want to talk about things before you do them you both are very very verbal I don't see it being like really silent you're both quite loud as well <clears throat> and a lot of <clears throat> throat chakra stuff as I'm coughing so this person's gonna love your booty especially if you are a woman wanting a man your man is gonna love your booty um but obviously gender neutral but that's just what I'm seeing just from this photo here um I do see there's a lot of like really deep feeling with this with this partnership in intimacy a lot of like eyes closed kind of really feeling in the moment you're very present in your body when you when you're with this person as well really really lovely what is this the hangman in reverse lovely in reverse so i'm seeing that a lot of you guys have had a lot of distance when it comes to intimacy like you either are in a relationship because it's more intimate or you're in a relationship and there's no intimacy whatsoever so it's basically like you can't get the balance right you can't figure out the balance so this bat this is going to be really really balanced i love like the way her legs are it's just so lovely like your person's going to really admire your body they're going to love the way you um they love your posture they love the way like you're possibly quite either quite tall and thin and quite lanky or you're somebody who is like quite insecure about your height um but they're going to really love that and it's going to suit both of you when you are um intimate with each other so i feel like to just pull actually a couple more cards i'm going to leave her out the hangman's really nice. We've got a lot about timing. So both of you are definitely getting a little bit impatient when it comes to wanting a relationship. Like you, you want a relationship like right this second um, because we have the star and the hangman. It's basically saying, yes, you will have to wait a little bit longer. But the star is saying, we got you covered, girl. So you're going to be her doing a lot of intimacy around um, like outdoors, a lot of outdoors. You're going to love this person's back. They're very muscly. Um, they're peen. It's very muscly as well. Like wow the muscles are beautiful in this group like both of you are extremely muscly i mean look at this guy like that's literally your partner in terms of like the muscles they could be their skin tone they could be just slightly tanned quite olivey skin long hair they could tie their hair up um this person has quite a thick beard really lovely facial hair um you possibly have like something to do with your boobs like you like to have your cleavage out or you know your person if he's a guy likes to be topless a lot of the time um, and the female here 
Um, I'm seeing likes to show off the nips. You might have a nipple piercing or the person you're gonna be with has a nipple piercing. Um, I do feel like if they're a woman, they have a nipple piercing. I don't see it for the guy. If they're a guy and they have piercings, they would have it in their ears or maybe on their neck. I don't know how to pick it on the neck, but maybe they like to be a little bit raunchy with that. Um, so you're gonna have candles around you a lot. You both like to set the scene. It's very, very quick. Like as soon as you start it, you're gonna start it ASAP. Um, they love your legs. Like legs are really accentuated in this reading. There's a lot to do with height and timing. So it's kind of like a lot of the people you've been with, if they feel really uncomfortable when you're around them, they're not the right person. Like this person just loves you, whatever. Like whatever form you come in, they really don't care. Um, they really love you though. They love your hair. You have, your hair is really soft and silky. You might be have, you might have quite an insecurity around your hair actually. You might wear it up a lot. Um, and I keep hearing just wear your hair down, wear your hair naturally. I really like it the way it is. Um, they're gonna, I'm seeing this person putting their hands like on your face and pulling your hair back like around your ears. So, sorry I had my hands like really close to the camera. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't actually, I didn't actually see what I was doing then. Um, but basically like I'm seeing them tucking it behind and it's being really, it's really gentle, really calm, really loving. And what I love about this is like, there's so many days where you're literally intimate for the entire day. Um, you both have really strong stamina, like really, really strong. So you can just keep going for ages and ages. Um, this person might introduce you to things like vibrators and uh, rings, things like that, beads, stuff like that. I'm seeing like objects, you're using objects. Like I'm seeing a lot of hands and they're like just picking up stuff. Um, and I'm seeing this person is quite tall. They're taller than you and their body, their, their chest area is just really important. I just keep picking up on chest area. Um, they could be somebody who really likes to put a lot, they put a lot of energy into their chest area. So it might be somebody who works on their chest. Um, if they're a woman, they could have like, their boobs could be up quite high. If they're like wearing a bra and they pull it up sort of thing. Um, I'm picking up like, you're gonna have a lot more fun with this relationship than you've had with any other one. So what I mean by that is like, you might get a bit too serious sometimes and this person just gonna like, grab you from behind and just start like, pull your trousers down, boop, here we go. <laughs> oh, I literally was gonna get right into that, but sometimes I forget this is a general reading and this is online. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll literally just say whatever comes to my brain. So um, I am picking up on animals, which sounds really weird to say, but it could be both you're quite animalistic, um, but I'm also seeing that there's just something significant to do with animals. Um, it feels like this person could own a farm. Um, literally nothing to do with intimacy right now, what I'm saying. the Animals, I feel like they could like be a horse rider. They could be a, um, I don't know, maybe even a breeder. <laughs> I don't know, it's something to do with animals and they're not telling me. I'm just, literally, I don't know what they're saying right now, but the horse omen's really strong with you guys and possibly the a goat as well. Like those two omens are quite strong. Um, yeah, both of you feel really safe. I'm picking up this person has, like you're the person that you have your arms up a lot. So that may, shows to me that you feel safe. It's kind of like when a cat comes towards you and they, or, they, or a dog and they roll over and they, they expose their stomach. That means they're really comfortable around you. That is the energy I'm getting from this person. Um, they might wear a significant necklace all the time that they're really like attached to. Um, they're really comfortable with intimacy. Like there's no issues here whatsoever. And this person is obsessed with your legs. I love how these two are really similar. Can you see how the guy is just kind of like fawning over the woman? It's just really beautiful. They don't want you from a place of like, I need you and I need your body. It's like, they just want to experience you as a person, which is really nice. Um, you have definitely dealt with a lot of stress to do with intimacy with previous relationships. And I'm hearing you've learned what you need to learn, but you're not going to have that with this person. Like you're going to have pure, lovely, connection it's just really nice and I don't feel any problem at all um this person will want to have some really deep conversations and oh my god this is really sexy like what I'm picking up on is both of you are going to have like a really deep talk and it's going to bring you two together and then you're going to start to do intimate things you might even try like games and things like that that do with that I just pick up on objects like bringing in objects um I don't know why but I'm hearing this person on a phone I don't know why, maybe like phone sex, I don't know, <laughs> something like that. I'm just hearing this person through the phone. I'm hearing this song, Kiss Me Through the Phone. Um, I'm picking up on like really like early 2000s like sexual songs. Like Apple bottom jeans. <laughs> is that a sexual song? I don't know, <laughs> I can't think right now. So that is what I'm feeling guys. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello group number six. Let's get started with your reading. It's so weird to say group number six because I normally do four groups. So here we go. So group number six, you guys have the pyrite, a very practical 
sex life. Pyrite's a very masculine crystal. It's really good for making money, attracting abundance. It's just that's I think it's it's also called fool's gold. So it's really good for that. So both of you are going to be very practical about your intimacy. It's going to be planned, possibly. There is going to be times, of course, where it's going to be unplanned, but you are both very in your head when you're intimate. So this person and both, you're actually going to, because you're both very similar, you're both going to help each other to get like really grounded. <clears throat> okay, we have the strength card. Lots of wrestling. <laughs> both of you are like wrestling each other. Um, very fiery, quite competitive. Um, you might have arguments and then literally make up sex. Um, not too much, but I do see that uh and some level as well so i'm seeing it's going to be quite delayed the intimacy like it's not going to be like i'm meeting you and then like a day after you're intimate but like, i'm seeing at least like two three weeks to like three months before you're actually intimate you guys like to have a lot of boundaries to do with sex which is which is good that's how it suits you um so boundaries can also be walls so just be aware of that it might take you a little bit of time to just um come into this uh intimacy realm but i'm seeing like slow like really slow you might feel the need to kind of compete with this person because that's kind of how you've attracted um guys or women um and you don't have to do this with this person once you start to relax and just be yourself um the intimacy starts to flow it's kind of like you've got a resistance pick up on a resistance belt like you've got a belt around your like trousers or a skirt and you're resistant to like take it off like it's almost like it's protecting you from being intimate so that's kind of what i'm feeling so when it actually comes to being intimate both of you are really in the moment and you're in your head but you're also in the moment because we have the ace of pentacles ace of wands one of you is really really masculine one of you is really practical and feminine so the, the practical feminine is kind of like the nurturer and then the male is just really really masculine so I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of distance between you and this person and it's because you both aren't used to this connection yet so when it actually comes to be intimate you're going to go for like three to five hours if that's something that you feel like you can do because I definitely feel that um I'm picking up that one of you might have um an issue with your legs so there's something around that so you might have quite an insecurity around um the legs or some sort of disability with the legs so they're going to be really um loving around it really unconditional they're saying I don't care you're beautiful or whatever like this just lovely it's just no no worries at all so um when you become intimate with this person, there will be a sense of like your heart chakra just cracks and you might start to think about a lot of past people and how they've really affected you and, and when it comes to being intimate. So what I'm seeing is you and this person are just really independent and that's why you struggle to kind of um, let your guard down. But when you do, it's like two, like a power couple. And like I said, very, very competitive, really fiery. Um, there's a lot of kind of like scratching, slapping, of course, if this is something you like, um, grabbing, like grabbing the wrists, pushing pushing them down, um, picking somebody up, um, a lot of like throwing and like um, grabbing, pulling, scratching. Um, the wrists I'm picking up are being grabbed, but like, you know, of course, in a safe way, like grabbing the wrists, grabbing the legs, grabbing the ankles, pinning down each other. Um, I'm picking up like, um, you're literally trying to fight. Both of you possibly like both fire signs. You're like really competitive. <laughs> like I haven't got hardly any fire in my charts. This is very out of my realm, but I'm just seeing a lot of like pushing, forcing, grabbing, maybe even like, <laughs> it sounds so weird, but I'm picking up on someone like literally kneeing you down to try and get you to like, cause you might like that. That might be something you like. There might be a lot like, like spanking and things like that, like grabbing, uh, clawing, Especially if you have long nails, just be careful not to poke someone's eye out. <laughs> um, so I'm also seeing you guys, when you're in like, when you're really feeling yourself, when you're really in like a beautiful dress or just clothing that makes you feel yummy and sexy, this person is going to pick up on it straight away and they're going to want to take it off of you straight away. So it might take you a while to get out of the house. <laughs> um, and I'm seeing both of you are going to have a lot of intimacy in public spaces. Um, there's a lot of kind of like looking at each other, like side eye kind of thing. Like, should we go and do it now? You know, um, I'm seeing you both are when you have your own house, which I do definitely see a lot of you guys having, um, you're going to basically do stuff in literally every single room. I'm hearing like, um, what's the word when you basically like, um, when you have sex in, in one place and you're kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, yeah, I can't remember. Basically when, say if you have like a car and you literally want to, 
um, have sex for the first time in that car. That's that's that ritual that I can't remember the word of, uh, but basically that's what you're doing. Um, so your person, they really like it when you embrace your authenticity. So say if you're like quite a witchy person, you wear like witchy things, a lot of black or a lot of like hippie stuff, they love that. They love it when you're embracing who you are. So that's going to be when you're at your most sexy and they want you to do that. They want you to embrace who you are. They want you to embrace your hobbies and things like that. And that's going to make you both like, like straight away come together. So I'm also feeling this person's very protective. They are somebody who's very independent though. You're both kind of quite independent lives, but you're also just really, you both trust each other a lot, a lot of safety here. Picking up on this, like shaking hands, like you're really close, really safe. Um, this person might have a dog as well. Um, yeah, a lot of like wrestling. <laughs> both of you might have a mirror and you're kind of looking, looking at when you're doing stuff, you're looking in the mirror as you're doing it. Um, I'm just saying I need to protect myself. So yeah, there is definitely resistance, but I am feeling it's because of the past because you've always had naysayers basically say like, you know, you're not good, doing good enough. This person's not good for you. Um, they get involved and don't let people get involved in the, in the relationship. Yeah, trust. Trust is a big, big thing with this group. Um, and we do have quite a masculine, like a masculine crystal. So that's really interesting. So I hope that resonates with you guys. Um, yeah, go for it. This looks absolutely beautiful. I'm picking up on an omen of um, a swan for you guys and kind of like twin flames, but twin flame, not in the way that people normally think a twin flame is. I'm seeing like, because we have two like, um, like figures in the, in the flame, it's almost like this person is going to help you to be who you are because you've never really been accepted and that's why this person's reflecting who you are but it's not a twin flame guys because twin flames are horrible not comfortable at all um so i'm really picking up on this flower as well i can't remember what these flowers are called but this is um like the, the purple ones that drape down that's going to be an omen as well have a look at the spiritual meaning of those flowers too so have a lovely day i'm here and the last thing is embrace your light side embrace your light side your fun side don't take things so seriously have a lovely day and i'll speak to you soon Bye. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you. So we have the beautiful moonstone. This is really, really lovely. This feels like moony. <laughs> it feels moony. It feels emotional. It feels loving and heartfelt, which is really very cute. Yeah, very cute. That's the way I was going for. Very cute. It kind of reminds me of the moon emoji <laughs> where the eyes are kind of looking to the side. Okay, so we have the eight of pentacles. So this person is going to be your best friend. They're going to be everything. Your, I hate the word lover, but your lover, <laughs> your best friend, um, somebody who you just share everything with. So when it comes to being intimate, you are somebody who likes to be at home a lot. You're a homebody. You like to go out, but you also like to be at home. So both of you are going to be like watching films and doing stuff. And you have the best days this person where you're just literally relaxing in bed. Um, you're going to be in bed a lot for the first couple of weeks. Um, you don't want to be. It's like you don't really care either way, but you're just really excited for whatever kind of comes towards you in this connection. You might also drink a lot of tea and coffee when you're around this person. You might have like a lot of coffee dates or things like that. Because they might make you cocktails um, and you might have a little bit of drunk sex. <laughs> and that's not like um, you're deliberately getting drunk. It's literally just like you're, you just have fun and alcohol is just involved. So this person, very romantic. They love like neck kissing. Um, they love giving you like love bites, which are hickeys uh, for people who, I'm guessing, I think a love bite is the British word of saying it, but yeah, hickeys or love bites. Um, this person, they love music. They love anything to do with classical music, anything that's like romantic. They love anything that's just like, you're both really intertwined with each other. Like bodies literally intertwined. Um, I'm seeing this person, I'm picking up like a royal energy, like they, they like to have things really clear and clean in their house. So you won't ever see this person being really messy. Um, they don't, they're, they don't really care about like fluids and things like that. I'm not saying that they're really kind of anal about it. Ironically, they're not really anal about it, but this person is, um, they like to have things quite, uh, like specific. So yeah, beautiful. Then we have the temperance. So this person's gonna really help you to embrace your feminine energy. They love the way you just express yourself. And this person, you're gonna be quite worried about getting intimate, but it's gonna be not a problem. The intimacy is just absolutely gorgeous. You just gotta let go. You gotta let go and let this person really enter your life, and enter your holes. <laughs> oh my God, that was so funny. It just came out of my mouth. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups. So there is a lot of love here. There's a lot of unconditional love. I'm not getting a lot of like raw intimacy, sexuality, stuff like that, but there is that. It's underneath. What I'm seeing is it's like, it's such a loving connection. The intimacy is just there. It doesn't have to be like something to be pointed out. So we'll just see what wants to come through. 
So we have the wheel, which is showing me that this karma is basically changing around for you. You might have had um, a lot of cheating or a lot of people wanting things from other people where you've never been really acknowledged. This is no more. The wheel is turning. This is not important. Um, and I feel like when you're intimate, oh my God, it's absolutely gorgeous. Both of you like to be in nature or you like to have like the window open, have a lot of breeze coming through. You're somebody who likes to go out and go to different places and do things like that. I'm seeing like a lot of hotels, maybe even in a tent, in like a, sh in like, um, I was going to say a shed, not a shed, <laughs> maybe, um, in like a cabin. Yeah, that's a bit more prettier than a shed. Um, and I'm seeing like with the Eight of Cups, you and this person are just rich in, like I'm hearing rich in flavor, which maybe you're licking each other. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, I mean, I'm seeing that too. Um, this person loves your little quirks. So that's gonna be how you start like sex. Basically your proper brushing your hair or you're like, you know, if you have curly hair, like crunch, like crunching your hair, what do you call it, scrunching your hair? You might be doing that and your person's like, oh my God, you look so cute. Come here. And then they like do stuff to you. Um, this person most likely has very, very, very black, no, no, sorry, very, very dark hair or black hair, curls, coils, or just black hair. Cause I'm, I'm picking up on like the brown hair from all these guys here. Um, and you basically will see their hair everywhere. <laughs> it's everywhere. Um, and if you have black hair, you probably know the hair gets everywhere. Um, so I do feel this person really loves your, they just love everything about you. All the things that you're insecure about is not a problem here. I'm actually not getting a lot of intimacy messages because it's literally, there's not much to say. It's, it's just perfect. Like anything you want to try, you can do. Anything you want to do intensely, it's going to happen. Anything you want to do romantically, it's going to happen. This, re this relationship is very unexpected. It's like, you didn't expect to be this quick. Like you might actually watch a love reading when it's like, oh, when am I going to be intimate? And it might be like, I don't know, three months from now. And then you literally meet someone like in three days. So what I'm seeing is like, it's very unexpected. So it's kind of like, oh, I'm not too sure. It's kind of like when you first get into a relationship or you meet a friend for the first time, you have to get used to knowing that person and how the dynamic works. That is why I'm feeling like it's not like, oh my God, so much sex, so much intimacy. It's like, yes, there is, but it feels really natural. And what I like about this is there's no overthinking. Like you've overthought so much of your sex life and there's no much, nothing about that here. Um, you are definitely really um, like, okay, this is really hard to explain, but basically you're, I'm hearing well thought of, like a lot of people think of you. So you could be quite um, popular online or you could have a lot of DMs from people or you could have an online business. So you constantly get messages all the time. You're very like popular. I don't know how to say about it. But basically I'm feeling like this guy with the two, two women, like you're well thought of. I don't know how to explain it, but a lot of people appreciate you. And you're probably going to have a really big community around you when you're in this relationship um, in terms of like new friends. This person is going to be really excited to share their hobbies with you and same with, with you. Um, yeah, I'm not getting too much intimacy, but you're definitely going to realise this person is going to show you a complete unconditional love. Like they're going to help, they're going to make tea for you, they're going to make you dinners. Um, and they're going to show you a massive contrast between the, the issues that you've had with other people. I'm hearing um, combating contrast. Yeah, beautiful. Um, I'm also seeing you guys are possibly going to have children with this person. I'm seeing your boobs being, you know, uh, food for babies. So I'm seeing like babies um, being born and I'm seeing like, roses are a real big omen for you because um, I'm really picking up on all the flowers in this in this reading. Yeah, that's really it. I'm just seeing this person looking after you and it's really lovely. And it's really weird because you've had to really try in your sex life. You've had to really like show people like, this is what I'm like, you know, love me for this, love me for that. And it's like, this person is just like, you don't have to try hard. You literally just have to be yourself. Like it can be quite weird for you, but it's amazing. So have a lovely day. Also, this person might be a fireman. I'm seeing them on a fireman pole or like a policeman or there's somebody who does very active work. Um, maybe if it's their hobby, they could be like, I don't know, I don't know if you can actually like, um, what's the word, being like a, like a charity for firemen, like donate your time to like being a fireman or something. It's like, they're not, they're possibly not doing it for their full-time job, but they are very, very fit. And they are, they have a very high sex drive, like very high adrenaline. Um, there's somebody who can go a long time. They, they just really love sex. They love it. They, they, I have a very mature outlook on it, which is really nice. When you've had very, you've had people around you with a very immature outlook on it, they're, this person just doesn't even think about it. They don't even think about it all the time until it comes to the point where they're like, I wanna do it, let's go. And you basically will 
have like really cute times where you're just like, I don't know, putting some stuff in the dishwasher and they grab you from behind. It's really lovely. Um, yeah, and you feel sexy with this person. I think that's the most important thing. Like you feel really sexy. So have a lovely day and I will speak to you very soon. Also, I'm going to recommend you guys a crystal. I'm really picking up on Rose Quartz for this group. Um, and when I pick up on a crystal around an energy, it just feels really like whole, loving, open, no worries at all, very unconditional. So have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number eight. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose the Rose Quartz. So for you guys, very, very mature relationship. This feels like a relationship. It feels very comfortable, very fun, um, adult mature. I'm seeing you guys in a bar drinking and then you go back to one of your houses and then you do stuff. So we have beautiful, the seven of wands. So you've kind of been used to people who don't really give you a lot of attention. This person, completely opposite. Um, you've also had a lot of people who just wanted you for your body. And this person is literally, they're not interested in just your body. They want everything. They want the whole package. They love your hair. That's the main thing they got attracted to, first of all. You may have like really bright hair, long hair, thick hair. There's a part of, it's, about your, it's an aspect about your hair they really like. So this person's really empathic and you're probably not used to something like that, like somebody who's really considerate. Um, so they're going to ask you a lot of questions and they're basically going to want to get to know everything about you. And you're going to be able to really open up quite quickly. Um, there's both of you are very, very aggressive when it comes to your sex life. Like, um, one of you is just gonna, we're going to take it in turns to kind of be the, the main, um, kind of, you know, you have the, the top and the bottom, both of you are going to take it in turns to be that, um, you might be, um, into both genders. I'm just getting that as well. Or you might not really care about the gender of your person. You might be really drawn to, um, just changing up, switching up. You might even be somebody who wants to have, Lots of different partners at one time, if that's, of course, your thing. I'm just getting that really strongly, actually. Um, I'm hearing, like, a, a relationship that's not, quote-unquote, like, normal. That sounds really bad to say, but, like, not society normal. Um, okay, so we then have these Seven of Cups. Or you might have been, have done that already, and you're like, nah, I don't want to do that anymore. Knight of Pentacles. So you're going to have a lot of suitors. Like, this person is going to be one of, like, three people that you might even know. But you're going to know exactly who it is. Like, you might, it might just be, like, a tiny little, like, blip of three people at one time. Maybe you're on a dating site and you have two people and then your main person you're talking to. Um, but then you choose this person because they have a really beautiful energy of, like, they're right there in the moment. Um, I'm also seeing with this partnership is this person is really fascinated by you. They love the way you act. They, you might even dance a lot. You might even be a dancer. There's somebody who's going to be really attentive. They're really like loving, like over loving <laughs> a little bit, uh, but in the best way. So in terms of the intimacy with both of you, they're going to try like whips, chains, things like that. If that's something that you like, they like tying up and things like that. They like a bit of control. So if that's something you like, then that's something you're going to get. Um, I'm hearing like a safe word. So that could be something that you like to do. Um, you might be quite insecure about your thighs or like the size of your thighs. So they might do a lot of like, um, they might focus on the area of the thighs. They like doing things like um, oral and things like that, which is something you might not have experienced maybe ever, or it might have been always about the other person when it comes to sex. This is about both of you. Very equal. You both take, take time. It's not like a full on go for it straight away with the, like penetration. It's literally both of you are doing oral as well. Like you both like to try different things. Um, you are somebody who might end up wearing, um, you might end up like basically chucking a load of your bras out as such around it. But if you have boobage, um, you might be somebody who's been quite insecure about showing your nips and now you're just kind of like just being really natural with them. Um, your person is going to introduce you. It sounds completely irrelevant to intimacy, but your person is going to introduce you to their family and you're basically going to be around their house a lot. So that could be where you do a lot of the intimacy. Um, you both could be saving up for a house. This person could be moving before you meet each other and then you move in with this person. You could do a lot of traveling with them and be intimate in different countries. This person could be a completely different ethnicity to you. Um, and that's what you love about them. You love just the, um, the difference in facial features, in skin color, things like that. You find that just so fascinating. Um, maybe this person's really tall and a lot of your family very short. So it's like, oh yeah, gimme, gimme. <laughs> um, so it's basically the opposite to what you've had before. And I feel as if this person, um, they're quite edgy. They are quite edgy. It's either you or this person's quite edgy. So you might have like one streak of color in your hair um, and they like that. 
and both of you are really active you both love running together you could be really hot and sweaty and then like a lot, a lot of shower sex because both of you are very fit and active so you're in the shower a lot um, and in the bath a lot around a lot of water I'm seeing a lot of like cleansing with water um, I do see there's a new type of style of sex you're going to try I'm not entirely sure what it is but they're just showing me a new style um, it feels as if it's like spontaneous so maybe you've had a lot of planned intimacy and it didn't really work a lot of spontaneous because you really work together um, I'm seeing that I'm hearing like okay I'm just gonna be really honest with this part of the reading uh, there's a part of you that's very scared that this person's gonna get bored of you um, I'm picking up on that really strongly so I'm hearing you don't have to worry about that that's not that's the past um, that's immaturity like people people who have made you feel like that are immature and they don't appreciate you they're basically like that kind of instant gratification culture they're not gonna do that with you this is kind of like um you preparing for this relationship coming into inti coming into intimacy and this is the intimacy here um lots of different experiences with this person and there's a lot of exploration um both of you love the darkness so you might do uh, intimate things in the dark you love anything to do with the home and and family so you get really attracted to this person when they're around family because that's really important to you and they're very caring about the environment and, and animals and things like that so that could actually be like a really strong turn on for you um they're also really smart intellectual and they care about the planet so that could be something that yeah just really turns you on um, i'm also hearing they're like a comedian so they're really good at adapting to their environment they might have strong gemini qualities um and they're also quite psychic very very sensitive person so have a look at the um energy of have a look at the um, symbolism, the spiritual symbolism of a tortoise and a gecko. Pick up on like quite reptilian animals for this group. Um, so however they kind of, you know, mate or whatever, it could be quite similar to how you guys do it. I don't know, it sounds really weird to say, but that's just what I'm picking up on. Like your energy is quite, um, quite protective and you like to blend in. That's kind of what I'm, why I'm seeing like a, a chameleon or something like that. So um, you might be somebody who has a lot of crystals or sage in your room when you do stuff. You like to both sage each other. <laughs> uh, you both like to be really conscious of your energy. Um, it's just a really spiritually awakened group. I really feel that, really mature. So I wasn't getting too much deep, intimate, like intense thoughts, like um, intimate messages, but that's just kind of what I'm feeling, guys. But this is going to be brand new, like really brand new. Like I'm seeing this is like, like packaged and brand new, like it's beautiful. So have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.